Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Fast moving trade winds today. These clouds are blowing through quick like they do, which gives some really unusual solar conditions. Full sun, partial sun, and it all happens very quickly. And what I've been doing is obsessing about the video I <laughs> released yesterday enjoying all of your comments and trying to digest all of them, uh, which are very, very technical and very exact and just, uh, I really appreciate all of them. So I wanna go in and show you today what's going on as a follow-up. So just as a quick follow-up, yesterday I was changing the charging parameters on this Power Queen 51.2 volt, 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So I have not moved far from uh, this computer all day. I've been reading all your comments. Uh, Junker ZN, uh, you have contributed so much to this conversation. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to digest all of your expertise. Gary down there or up there at the 43rd parallel. Manny, great comments. Real Eye. And Roberto, of course. And the list goes on and on from all of you guys. Really appreciate uh, this conversation. Uh, UB, Kenny. <laughs> it goes on and on. There's Junker again. Okay, so I have read every single one of these comments and I'm trying to uh, just digest everything that you guys have been discussing. A lot of it, honestly, is over my head, but I'm trying to come up to speed as quick as I possibly can. And I'll show you what I've done today. I've concluded my little experiment of those parameters I had it set on in yesterday's video. And Ricky baby too. <laughs> okay, so back to the app here, and here we are uh, in real time today, and you can see that 700 watt string is pumping really nicely. 600 some watts and there it goes off and what I've done is I've gone back and put it on the lithium iron phosphate preset for Victron and this is what it's doing now earlier in the day when it was doing this I kept hearing my uh, over voltage alarm on the inverter uh, going off every time it would spike a little voltage there uh, you know I would see where it says 53.6 volts at the battery you know i i saw it as high as 62 just for a flash before uh the bms would you know cut it off and then allow it to restart and so this is what it's been doing and i tried different settings but here you can see it is on the smart lithium setting which the absorption is 56.8 and that will go for two hours under this preset and a float of 54. And I decided to go back to this after a lot of you guys uh, sharing with me that I wasn't really uh, gaining anything uh, by what I was trying to do in my experiment. And when I originally set it back to this preset, like I said, I was getting uh, the audible alarm just every time that it would spike. And I started dropping that 56.8 manually uh, down, I went as low as 55 and was still getting the alarm. And the alarm was frustrating me. And, uh, you know, until I went down to like 55, I think, I quit getting the alarm. So then I had it like set for the absorption of 55 volts and a float of 54. But I wasn't happy with that. And I went back again and just set it to the... Uh, preset lithium iron phosphate setting which it is right now and ever since i've done it uh it has not been alarming at all and my battery monitor is showing right now 83.2 percent full and there you can see when it clicks off real quick and then it starts letting power back in it's going up and looking at today, which is this furthest uh, bar to the left, uh, you know, it shows the max of the 
uh, battery voltage at 56.07, even though I just would momentarily see 60 volts uh, before it would, you know, cut the power off from the panels and then kind of restart all over again. But since I did it the last time, and I've been fooling around with this for the past couple of hours just to get that alarm to stop, the alarm is not signaling anymore at all. And a quick glance as a follow-up to what yesterday looked like. You know, it showed me in bulk for, you know, near 10 hours, uh, and then absorption for 44 minutes, which it was actually set for uh, five hours, if you'll recall and then a float of uh, one hour and, and 40 minutes on those parameters that we were uh, setting yesterday. And then today, you know, it's just been bulk for six hours and 36 minutes so far. So, <clears throat> and that's what we've got right now, about 740 watt hours in there so far today. And now right here, you can see it's holding you know, a, a real steady 120 some watts. And that's just because that's the, the most those panels are gonna push right now with the clouds moving through. Uh, they're not in full sun. And the minute one of those clouds breaks free, this will shoot up over 600 watts. And you can see the voltage there, 53.65. And then, okay, here it comes. Here comes the sun and watch. This is what it's going to do. See if we can catch a... I haven't been able to see a higher voltage spike, but it obviously is, right? Because it just cuts the panels off momentarily and then restarts. Now, my question to you guys, is this just the cells balancing? I mean, that's my interpretation of what's going on as it's going through its bulk stage. There, it goes back down. And now, again, to remind you guys, this is on the preset lithium iron phosphate setting for the Victron app at 48 volts. So, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm definitely heading to a full, full charge today. And I guess my main question is, is this just normally the way it should be behaving? You know, I have it in my head that it would just open up these panels to its full capacity and hold it, you know, like right there, that 600 watts or something and, and drive it on up to uh, its absorption voltage, which is, you know, it's gonna get there, I believe today, but it keeps doing it this way, as opposed to, I'll show you what it's doing on another system. So this is a 200 amp hour. It says 300 amp hour up there in the corner, but it, I've got a 200 amp hour in there right now. Now, the difference is that this uh, battery is down to about 50% full. So there it is in full sun on a 500 watt string. It's allowing the maximum amount of power in on those very warm panels right now. And just holding it rock steady. It doesn't do any of that fluctuation. Of course, it's you know a long ways from its uh, absorption charge uh, of 14.2. And it just holds that steady. We don't, I don't see any of that fluctuating uh, whatsoever. And I believe that to be the, the fact that we're just working with a 50% full battery here. As opposed to the Power Queen being, what's it say now, 83.5% full right behind me. I just looked at the gauge. And it's just doing this kind of pulsing uh, on its way to that absorption. Yeah. So the trade winds are moving fast, like I said, but this this has not the, this is not the clouds. This is that BMS uh, balancing question mark. <laughs> That's what I believe is happening. Everything's looking good and interesting. I don't know why now I'm not getting any of those alarms off the inverter. The inverter just chirped every time it would go up to that. Uh, you know, 600 and some watts right there. I'd, I'd, I'd hear a chirp and I would actually see, like I mentioned, instead of 53, just as, as quick as possibly could be, you'd see a 60 volt, 59 volt, something along those lines before it would drop off like this. 
So I believe everything's working okay right now and, and everything's just balancing along the way. Yeah. So again, on this, uh, the preset is uh, absorption at 56.8 and float at 54, which most of you guys have said that that's just absolutely fine. And if we can get a nice burst of sun, we'll see if we can catch it where it says 53.7 volts. Come on, sun. Here, I think it's going to break open and see if we can just see it just momentarily goes up a little high. It's going to try. And I'm dealing with those clouds. So, you know, as long as there's partial clouding, it, it doesn't open those panels up all the way. And then I get, of course, if it's clouded for a while, the panels cool off a bit. And then I can get a nice uh, burst of, you know, higher wattage, higher amps. So right here, you know, as long as it stays, you know, partially. Now, here we go. I think we're going to get some full sun. I'm trying to show you guys. Will we see something? Come on. Weather, cooperate. Yeah, partial clouding. Okay, well, I was going to see if we could catch that when it just shoots up at um, I have seen it a number of times, so you have to take my word for it when it comes into full sun. Sometimes that voltage you can see there on the right will shoot up to, uh, you know, 59 volts or something. In this very second it does that, it just kind of restarts this little pulse. So I think everything's working right. What do you guys think? <laughs> Be gentle with me now. <laughs> a lot of you guys know more in your little finger than I'm ever going to know. So I'm trying to catch up with you guys. And I really appreciate you all explaining and taking the time that you guys take to explain these things. It's going to seep into my gray matter eventually here. Okay, I think I'm going to catch it. And... Come on. Just there. Now I didn't I didn't see it. Uh, it maybe on a review I'll see what it did, but it's so quick. Let's see if we can catch it here. Another burst of sun. 53 point. Uh, I just I don't catch it. It happens so quick. There's been a couple of times that my naked eye could catch that transition. Yeah, right there. Again, so fast. But I think the preset is what I'm gonna stick with. I was trying to go back. One of you guys were telling me uh, what you actually liked to run this size of a 48 volt battery at. Uh, it was a little bit different than the preset. It wasn't drastically different. But anyway, I'm pleased that, that I am not getting that alarm anymore. That was just kind of driving me crazy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> By golly, that's fast. And 83.8% full. Probably get up to 100% today. Got plenty of daylight left. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys. That's what's going on today. Um, I'm happy that it's not alarming now. I do not know why it has stopped alarming now. Uh, but I am not seeing that 60 volt uh, spike anymore. At least not by the naked eye. It's obviously still being shut off and then just restarts immediately so I think I'm good I'm just gonna leave it on the preset it's worked absolutely famously on the preset for months and months and months so I was just doing a little experiment yesterday and uh, I think I'm gonna conclude that experiment yeah so guys thank you so much for uh, all the contribution to this discussion I'm taking notes. I'm learning as fast as I can. And now I have every one of my, what have I got? Six or seven charge controller Victrons uh, all set on their lithium iron phosphate preset. That's just easy for me. I like it, but I'm always open to learning more things and you guys keep teaching me more things. Beautiful day here. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. And I'll catch you on the next one. Got an incredible battery. 
Uh, I'm gonna start working on a review. It has all the things that we've wanted uh, for a long time. And so it's a new innovative design. I can't wait to show you guys in an upcoming video here in the coming days. Aloha. Take care, everybody. Yeah, those trades are really cranking. Love it. Oh no, I just finished the video. It never did that for the longest time. See that? Now it's doing that. All on the preset settings. 63 volts, I saw it with my eye. Okay, so it goes.